gosh. Oh no, this is not gonna work. Okay, that will work. Hi! This, in a, tomorrow, a week, and one day. Me too. Okay. So, I'm gonna start with my eyes first, because that's what I was supposed to do yesterday, and I didn't. So, I'm gonna do that now. I didn't delete them, but I don't know how to put them anywhere. Huh? I didn't delete them, but I don't know how to put them anywhere. So I'm gonna prime no, my. Like, did you it YouTube. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna prime my eyelids with concealer. You can buy eyelid primer if you want, but it works the same. Are you recording already? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I have some mascara on right now because I had a meeting today. Weetie, you want to say hi? Can you look? Come here. Come here. Come here, Weetie. Oh, he's so sweet. Can you high five? Oh, good girl. You can't have it though. I switched it to 1080p instead of 4K. Oh, I know, you can't have it. So I just put concealer on my eyelids and then I'm gonna use powder to set the concealer down. Peachy. Yum, yum. Maybe I'll try to figure out how to edit. <laughs> Should I? Just use a powder that matches your skin tone. So now we're gonna start with a shade that's like one shade above your skin tone and for me that is Flower Child mixed with Smarty Pants in the Tarlet palette and then you're gonna put that kind of everywhere and but leave like your brow bone open so we can put a lighter color there. Why are you laughing? I 
I got her a pig ear since I was gone for a few hours. She already ate it though. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> the more you blend that, the more blended everything will look. So now you're going to do your skin tone shade to set your eyelid, a skin tone shade above your skin tone to go in the crease, and then we're going to do a darker color in the crease, and we're going to use Rebel and Sweetheart mixed together, and then do that a little bit lower. Come on, Lucy. Come on, can you stop? <laughs> Paige, go lay down, baby. Go lay down. <laughs> you want to kiss on the lips? Okay, so now I'm going to use a smaller brush to do a darker shade on the outer V. I'm going to just use Rebel right now. And then kind of blend it up and it's okay if it looks messy because we can clean it up with a makeup wipe that on the other side. having a hard time blending it out, just keep going back in with your big fluffy brush. Going over everything. So now we're going to get into some darker shades. We're going to use 
leader just on the lash line and a little bit in the outer V. I'm actually going to use a really short shader brush to pack um, leader and activist mixed together on the lash line. Just do the outer half. go in with a pencil brush and leader stamp it on the outer V and then we'll use a bigger brush to blend it out um Christina asked if we want to go to the Saturn room with him after dinner the what? Saturn room where we went for Natalie's birthday blending brush to blend it out. Pretty much just Keep building up the color and then going back to blend it out. Should I split it into two videos? The soup video. <laughs> I don't know how. Why do you reckon this? Yeah.
So if you like more of a matte look, instead of where I put the shimmer on the inner third, you could put like, Charmer or Flower Child. It would still be really pretty, but in the picture I sent you, I used uh, like a shimmery like pink champagne color. So I'm going to use that, but I'm going to use this like stick um, cream eyeshadow as a base so it shows up more pigmented. And then you're going to get a flat shader brush. And if you want to use a shimmery shade, then you'll dip this into your shimmer shade. And then spray it with a setting spray. To make it show up more. The shimmer shade I'm using is from a different palette, but if you want to use a shimmer shade, Funny Girl is just, it's really good too, but I like the more pinky color for weddings. You're going to want to buff the edges out of where the shimmers and the mattes meet. I'm going to use Rebel for that. Just go back and forth between what you use for your shimmer shade and your matte shade. And they'll blend in. Now the eyes are done. I'm gonna wanna get a makeup wipe to clean the edges up. And then if 
if any if any fall out just go underneath your eyes had some sunscreen on my face Kind of another flat brush. You're gonna grab the white shade and go on your brow bone and drag it down and it'll help blend everything together. I'm going to grab a black coal liner. You're going to want to tight line your upper lash line. And I'm going to line my upper lash line with an ink liner. This one is running out. I'm gonna do a tiny, tiny wing. It'll help lift your eyes.
can't fall asleep because then I'm going to have to hear snoring. Go in there. Hey, actually, will you take me to the outside? Please. You're so annoying. I want to kill you. They're kind of uneven, but it's all right. <laughs> I'm going to pry my face while the eyeliner dries and then I can put lashes on. This is just a hydrating primer. My skin's dry. And then if you have like big pores around your cheeks like me, use a pore filling primer. I think I'm gonna have to cut these lashes. Oh yeah. I always cut from the outside. Let your glue dry for like 20 to 30 seconds before you put it on. Our glue will get in your eye and it burns. Take the dog hair out of your eyelashes. <laughs> These are the wispies. I like them only when I'm wearing eyeliner. If you don't, if I don't wear eyeliner, they look really big.
I'll let these dry and then put some mascara on. Now I'm going to do foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. It looks super good in pictures. It doesn't cover my freckles though. But I haven't found anything that covers my freckles, so. <laughs> Why are you staring at me? Gotta match your neck. I always put sunscreen on my neck and face so they're really white compared to my body. Nag. <laughs> I'm literally using Peachy's kennel to hold my phone right now. I wish she could see it. <laughs> I obviously have never done this before, so. It's gonna be on behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> behind the scenes. Oscar will take a picture to make sure to make fun of me about this. <laughs> You're so rude. Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. <laughs> I always rub it on my hand to warm it up a little bit. And it hides all my dark circles. Make sure to get your inner corner. Because 
that's what looks really dark in the pictures. I always get red around my nose, so I put it there sometimes, too. And then I'll do the middle of a lightweight concealer on the edges just to blend it in with the rest of my face. And then if you want to highlight, use your concealer. set my concealer make sure there are no creases and then look up and go back and forth or you'll get a crease I bring it just put it the powder wherever you put the concealer, the It Cosmetics one, because it's really thick and if you don't set it, it'll crease. And I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus powder because it looks good in photography. If you get oily in your t-zone, make sure to set it with powder, but the only place I get oily is nowhere, because my skin is so dry. But I do put it right here sometimes, because I don't like that looking shiny. I'm gonna go ahead and put mascara on. It'll blend the fake lashes with your natural ones. I kind of did. I don't really go in a net, oops, specific order, so I'm sorry if that bugs me. Wow, we cute. Did you go potty like a good baby? No, get away, dude. Please, we cute. No. And use a waterproof, con not a waterproof concealer, a waterproof mascara. Don't touch! Bro, please. Stop! Oh my god. 
This is so much easier when you're not home. Freaking killing. Okay. Now I'm gonna do eyebrows. I already put gel on them today. But. Make sure to really brush them out. put an eyebrow gel on them so they'll stay how they look right now. go ahead and finish the lower lash line and I don't want it to be really heavy so I'm just gonna use um, sweetheart first going to use Smarty Pants and a little bit of Jet Setter mixed in with it, just on the outer half. use I'm just gonna use funny girl on my pinky in my inner corner I'm gonna use what we use to highlight our face. The I'm gonna use the pearl color on my brow bone. I'm gonna do the tip of my nose. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I just think it's cute. I'm going to do my bottom mascara.
If you want to look more awake, you can put a nude eyeliner in your waterline, but I don't have one right now. I just have black, and if you do black, it'll make it look more smoky, and I don't, I like it more light and like fresh looking. So now I'm going to use bronzer, and I used a neutral color bronzer so I can contour with it too. So I just use a large tipple brush, tap it off. Kind of just contours for me, but if you want to add extra dimension in your face, I'll show you how. Sorry if you can hear Oscar crunching. I tried to do this yesterday, but <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, and so I set it to 4K because I wanted it to be good quality, but the file is way too big, and I don't know how to upload it, so good idea. Go away. You and your 90s pants. <laughs> Everyone's gonna know your secret. Those pants are actually from the 90s though. His brother gave them to him. Okay. So now that I'm decently bronzed, I actually like to take some and just go across my nose. I don't contour my nose because I don't I don't think it looks good, but now that I have, I really like a lot of bronzer though, so. And having a stipple brush will help it you blend it out better so I don't go too crazy. But if you want a more like distinct contour line, you can use a brush, a more denser brush. Dip in, tap it off, and just go at the very back is where you want the most product and it'll really kind of chisel your cheeks out so you can kind of tell the difference and if you think it doesn't look blended just go back in with this brush it out. And my forehead's kind of big, so I like to kind of really pack it right here. If you want your lips to look bigger, take a little bit of bronzer, go right underneath them. So now, for blush, you want to take a uh, like neutral color. I'm doing Becca Wild Honey. It's my favorite blush of all time. Um, but only when I'm tan. I don't like it when I'm really fair. It's too dark. So for you, I would do um, just like a light, like neutral pink, and you're going to take that right above your bronzer and blend it out. And don't go too far in, we're going to do something else there. This looks really natural and then you're going to actually take a smaller brush and a more bright colored not bright but like a lighter blush and this is just like a peachy color 
And you're gonna smile. And that makes you look younger. I mean, you're already young, but you know. People either think I'm like in high school or they think I'm like 30. So, I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. So now for highlight. Since I'm kind of tan right now, I'm going to do... Well, mm, what should I do? Yeah, I'm going to do the pearl mixed with the gold. Mm, no, I'll do the pink. I'll do the pinky color so you can see what that looks like. I'm only going to do the pink, though, because if I mix in white, it'll be way too light. I always do a little bit above my brow and kind of lifts the face up and you do it in like a C shape to match match back up with your cheekbone highlight and it's it's not like a super metallic highlight but it's really pretty and so, I don't know what your dress looks like, but once you have your dress on, you're going to take a little bit of your highlighter and kind of put it on your cheek, your cheekbones, oh my gosh, your collarbones, I'm stupid. And then you're going to put it on your shoulder. It'll look really pretty in pictures, I promise. I honestly do this just going out, but I just think it looks so pretty. And if you want to, you can even, let's see what brush do I'm using, I'll use this one. Um, if you want your collarbones to look more pronounced, you can grab a, pull them out, put bronzer or contour color below and above. I do like, I don't like this on me right now, but I think it looks good in pictures. Make sure it's really blended out. Or your people will be able to tell. You can just follow your natural shadows, really. I could put it right here if I wanted. This makes you look thinner. You could even contour your boobs if you wanted to, but... <laughs> There's no hope for me contouring any sort of boob on. Okay, so... I think... Have it covered. I'm going to go ahead and set my face before I do lipstick. Okay. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. You definitely want to get a setting spray for the day of. If you want your highlight to look like more intense while your setting spray is drying, go back in with a little bit. Right at the very tops of the cheekbones. It'll look so good. And 
and I don't know what lip color you're gonna do. I think um, if you go too nude, it doesn't really show up good in pictures. So my favorite is to do either a darker nude or do like a berry color. It doesn't even look berry in pictures, but it just looks so pretty. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like now. looks so pink. It looks so pink. For some reason. I might take that off. That looks weird. I do not like pink lipstick. I think I'm just gonna put this nude color on. It literally looks the same as my lip color, but oh well. That's it. I would put a gloss over it just because I'm a gloss person, but you can leave it matte or you can use a liquid lipstick if you want. That's it. I think it's so pretty and I think it, even when you look back in pictures like 20 years from now, it'll still be like a classic look. Not too much. And not too little. If you have any questions, you can just text me if you want. Bye!